Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and as you guys know a few times in the past, I've discussed the topic of fat acceptance and fat shaming and why I am against both of those. They are both problems for us. They're both problems socially, problems in the fitness world. We need to do away with both of them. Now, I have been brought into a little bit of an argument that was brought to my attention by my friend Latsbra, and I will link his video down below along with up here. And for those of you who don't know Latsbra, go check him out. You will find him amusing if you like gaming, role-playing, strongman, lifting, and even if you're into that aesthetic shit. But he got into a discussion with Loie Lane, who normally runs, I guess, a makeup and fashion channel, but she delved into the world of fitness and health with her video, which I will link here and down below also. And I need to discuss that because while Loie, you normally, that includes body acceptance stuff, but it's fashion and makeup. But now that you're talking about health and fitness, you are now coming into our world. You should expect commentary from all of the fitness related channels and a lot of us are health and fitness professionals so you should expect some criticism and some input what's that bag puss oh god here we go again with this shit all right bag puss says that he wants to talk to Loey for just a minute before i get into a discussion about this topic so let me let him talk for a minute you're not going to get me in legal trouble again are you every time i let you talk i get a message from somebody's lawyer Lori, hey, Shorty, let me holler at you right quick. Hey, man, don't be listening to either one of these motherfuckers. Girl, you is beautiful. I like them thick girls. You got them thighs for the guys. You get on with your bad self, sister. Hey, God damn it, bag puss. Dude, you got to cut this shit out. You know you're pink, right? Yeah, you're pink. God. All right, sorry about that, guys. So let's get into the topic. Lats Bra raised a lot of really interesting points. I didn't hear anything in there that I happen to disagree with. Now, I did link her video right to the part where she starts talking about health and fitness. And Loey, let me explain up front. I'm not going to talk negatively about your appearance. I don't think that you're unattractive. I think that you are a beautiful girl, in fact. So that has nothing to do with this topic. And I so it isn't even about any of that. This is about the health side of it. It is about the message that you are sending out. And, you know, I think it is positive that you are telling people to have a positive outlook on themselves and love themselves because oftentimes being obese is a symptom of other issues going on in someone's life. It is a symptom of low self-esteem and therefore people needing comfort foods, overeating to compensate for those things. So I am actually appreciative of the fact that you are trying to put out a positive message. However, when you are putting out a message that you are healthy or that you are telling other women that they can be healthy and that they are not going to die young, they're not going to die of preventable diseases as a result of being obese if they are at your weight or higher, then I'm sorry that's statistically incorrect, medically incorrect. You're being a bad role model at that point. And even if your blood work, which again, you should expect, if you say that at your body weight that your blood work looks good and you're not producing it for anyone to see, you should expect medical professionals and fitness professionals to question that. They're going to. It's reasonable for them to question that. That's not unreasonable because they do know something about your health. They do know something about the statistics. They do know something about human health markers and because you are active you say you are strength training which is excellent and probably the best thing you could be doing right now that you do gauge in cardiovascular activity that you do eat quite a bit of raw food so fruits and vegetables you're eating whole grains so you're getting lots of fiber those things will help offset that and that might help your blood work look better for longer but even if your blood work looks good now, you continue to stay at the weight you're at in five, six years, 10 years, it is probably going to be a different story, even if you're okay for now. That anyone who is at that level of body fat needs to be aware that they are dramatically predisposing themselves to type two diabetes. They are dramatically increasing their risk of cardiovascular diseases of all types they are dramatically increasing their chances of getting at least a dozen different types of cancers. And so, yes, you are predisposing yourselves to die from oftentimes painful illnesses at a much, much younger age and reducing your overall quality of life because even the hormonal imbalances that can result from this can contribute 
to things like depression. It can affect your brain chemistry. And don't think that I'm only harping on people who are obese. I also on my channel harp on people who get ultra lean for physique purposes because in all honesty, we know that from the blood work and the research that people who get down as lean as competitive bodybuilders do also suffer health problems. All right, that's, that's unhealthy also. And I am critical of those people as well because they're just as unhealthy as someone who's morbidly obese for say a male to be at 5% body fat is just as unhealthy. But the problem is that you're in denial of that fact. And if you wanted to be a good role model, you should be telling people that, yes, I know that I'm not healthy as a result of this or that I am going to become unhealthy as a result of this, but I still love and accept myself. Anyways, I still think that I am a beautiful person despite that. But if you are concerned with your long-term health, if you are concerned with your quality of life, you should be focusing on being healthier and a big part of that is losing weight. That training and food selection alone is not going to actually make you thinner. You have to be in a calorie deficit. And in fact, you would be surprised most people who are obese could actually go on a terrible diet that is micronutrient deficient. They're actually not even getting enough vitamins and minerals. They could be on a bad diet and if they lose weight rapidly, oftentimes their blood work actually looks better after several months, even on a bad diet, if they've lost a large amount of body fat. So what you'll actually find is that losing weight is actually more helpful towards improving your blood work health markers than actually eating a balanced diet is if you're consuming excess calories and you've accumulated enough body fat to be morbidly obese. And there's quite a bit of data on there out that if you go research it. So believe it or not, being morbidly obese is actually more unhealthy in many ways than actually eating an unbalanced diet is. Even if you were to be obese purely from eating all healthy foods, which is very possible. So that is something you need to be aware of. And if you want to be a positive role model, you need to take my advice, you need to take lots of broad advice, and you need to tell people the truth of it that what you are doing and what you've done with your body isn't healthy and it's okay to still love yourself but if you want to live a longer healthier life you want to be fit you don't want to get diabetes you don't want to get cancer you don't want to have heart attacks that you do need to lose the weight and you need to tell other people that if you want to be a positive role model while at the same time including your message of self-acceptance and loving ourselves for who we are and finding our own inner beauty as an individual. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time. But let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Oh, Mount Bicevius. <laughs>